video for you all today um, you know I reviewed a lot of trucks here on the uh, trucks and water YouTube channel from gas trucks diesel trucks monster 800 plus horsepower trucks to your bone stock trucks but nothing quite as special as this truck I'm in right now why you might ask well this is the godfather of all the um, all the diesel craze that it is today and some of you might argue on it with the 6.9 Ford diesels and the 7.3 IDI but at the end of the day the Dodge W250 or D250 12 valve Cummins are the reason why this diesel craze took off this one is a 1993 Dodge W250 12 valve straight 6 Cummins and my god is she a beauty this truck I just, I've, I've always loved these trucks, the nostalgic of these trucks. It's just unreal what these trucks were capable of back in the day. These were just farm trucks. Basically, these, these first early versions of the 12 valve, especially 89, 90, and 91 ish, were basically tractor engines with automatic or manual transmission behind it that would maybe do 75, 80 at the very tops going downhill. And this is when people started souping them up and putting bigger injectors in them and seeing what they would do. And this started off the diesel craze. And now they're becoming classics. So I'm by my good buddy Chad's and um, he's kind enough to let me review this truck. The reason why I'm not sitting in the driver's seat is due to insurance reasons with this insurance on how old the truck is and stuff like that. Don't believe me, don't believe me. Comment the hatred down in the comments below. I really don't care. But we gotta make sure we're safe about this guy because I do not want to ruin this beautifulness of this truck. Anyways, this truck, when he got it, is he's the second owner. It was a farm truck to the definition of a farm truck. The color you see on it now, it has been resprayed, but it was a pretty straight truck. It wasn't terribly beaten up, wasn't really rusted out, wasn't like how you typically find these, these first gen Dodges. He found it in pretty decent shape. So he took it, lifted it four inches, put fuel renegades underneath the 22 by 14 amp MT tires. Um, I mean, it is an awesome, I mean, the truck stance alone is just amazing. And the way these trucks, they just, the look of them is so nostalgic and it's so farmer truck, farm truck, and I love it. Um, it's a stock engine, stock on the clock, does not have anything special done to it, and there's really no need for it done. He has pulled with it before, and like he said, even on these wheels and tires, you don't feel the trailer behind it. It just get up and runs. Um, you know, Dodges get a bad rep sometimes with their bodies and with their transmissions and all that stuff. And, you know, second, third gens, you know, some of the early fourth gens maybe. But these Dodges right here, these first gens, you can't kill these things. I mean, yeah, they rust out a little bit. They'll have paint issues with this original paint and all that stuff. But at the end of the day, if you want something you can come out, reliably start it, and drive, you know, you can't go wrong with the first gen. You really can't. Um, they're simple, simple, stupid simple diesel engines, the 12 valves. Um, this one, I think, made about 200, 215 horsepower and only like 400 to 450, 500 foot pounds of torque. But that's all you needed back then. And these things, if you go online, they tow 20, even 30,000 pound trailers from the dualies you've seen with no issue. You didn't worry about EGR temps really back then. I mean, you still had to worry about them, but you didn't worry about trans temps really because they only revved out to like 3,000 RPMs. They weren't like the, the diesels now. that scream going down the interstate. But, I mean, it's just, it's my first 12 valve. It's the first review on the 12, my first 12 valve, first gen. 
absolutely adore this truck. Interior wise, you got a bench seat, um, seat belts. It is the um, LE model, so you have the, you know, the rated radio, the AC, the, all the creature comforts. But you said the old man who owned it before him, it had electronic windows, but he switched it out to roll-up windows. We don't know why, but he just did. But yeah, the interior is very, very, very well kept. It's that like brown interior, which most people be like, uh, that's not a great color for it. But, you know, it matches with the maroon red pretty daggum good. This is the factory color from Dodge. He just had it resprayed and professionally resprayed. This ain't a Mako. $5.99 special like he sunk a lot of money just into the paint job alone and The way this truck turned out is absolutely fantastic. Of course. It's a work in progress There's always something that has to be done on this truck. I mean it's with any older truck or any Project truck really There's always 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 gonna be something you have to fix you want to do or anything like that um, But sitting in this truck. Yeah, it rides it rides a little rough. I won't lie to you all it does it's on a leaf spring suspension with blocks and you lift it four inches. So you're, it's gonna ride a little bit rough, especially on 22 by 14s and, and uh, fuel wheels. But it really doesn't ride all that bad. It doesn't really jar and buck you the way I thought it was going to with some trucks. But that's kind of a testament to also the lift kit, the shocks they put on it and stuff like that, that makes it ride so much better. Like I said in previous videos, you can ruin a truck just by lifting it if you don't lift it right and don't take care of the necessary things and he's done all that the best part about this truck to me is the five-speed manual transmission yes the automatics in these trucks were they were pretty good transmission they had some issues but they were pretty good but you cannot go wrong with a five-speed manual transmission i mean you've got granny low that does like freaking two to five miles an hour and then of course you go all the way up to five, which is your overdrive. And it just, you know, it just get up and runs. I mean, you can't go wrong with this truck. Um, my uh, my mom actually, her first truck was a Dodge D 150 with a 360 gas truck in it. So, you know, I've seen pictures of it and they got such that classic look that it's rival to the second gen. I mean, when you talk about the older Dodges, people either think of a second gen or first gen. And I, what always comes to mind for me is a first gen 12 valve. I mean, I had a chance to buy one when I was 16. I was stupid and didn't buy it because I didn't know about the diesel craze yet. But, you know, you live and you learn. And at the end of the day, guys, the newer trucks, they're fantastic. Don't get me wrong. The Creature Comforts, the eight seat seats, the heat and cooled seats, the radios, the suspension on the new trucks, they're fantastic. And they make great daily drivers. You can drive them all day long and they'll, you can modify them and know tomorrow. At the end of the day, though, Put this next to a fourth gen and nine times out of ten I would say especially with a little bit older crowd um, people are gonna pick this it's so nostalgic and so how I put this it's so classic that people just love these trucks and they're getting harder and harder to find and they're going way up in value like these trucks beaten up well, not beaten beaten up but you know not in the perfect condition with lower mileage, you're looking at a high teens, low twenties truck. Fully restored, you're looking between twenty and thirty thousand dollars for one of these trucks, just because how rare they're getting and everything like that. Because these trucks were beaten on; they weren't your city-driven trucks or your take it to the lake and pull the boat. They were on the farm towing stuff, hay bales and freaking being romped on and pole stick and like sat out in a field and rained on and everything like that these trucks most people bought these trucks to work and they worked them like dogs and they kept coming back i mean the 12 valve alone i've seen these trucks with 500 600 700 800 900 thousand miles a million miles even just with maintenance and your typical repairs on this on these trucks with nothing else wrong with it. i mean yeah, it rattles, it creaks. I mean, hell, it's a 12 valve. It's going to do that. It's a first gen. But that makes it that much more special, though, at the end of the day. So, I want to thank Chaz for letting me review it and uh, bring it out. I very, very much appreciate it. His Instagram link, of course, will be popping up in this video. So, make sure you go out and follow him, guys. Uh, comment down below what you think of these 12 valves and these first gens and stuff. I mean, they're just awesome, awesome trucks. 
so you know like comment them down below join the trucks and water family guys we're always constantly growing constantly adding new people in the mix if this is your first time visiting the channel like the video if you like the videos all of you have a great day and remember never give up on your dreams <laughs>